please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm the Aquaman Dallas. And I'm Ricky Hannon. Stay tuned for the latest in news, weather, and sports. Now here's Mo with the weather. Hi. I need a nap. I don't know how to connect that to weather to just pretend I threw in some witty commentary. It's currently 32 outside and it feels like 24. There's an extremely light drizzle, so I don't know. Use that information at your leisure. For the rest of the day, there will be variable cloud cover, but the sky will be at least mostly covered throughout the entire day and will hit a high of 35. Dallas? Thanks, Mo. A happy birthday today goes out to Yadira Angelis and Moises Alanis Aguilar. For lunch today, we'll be having on lines one and two quesadilla. Lines three is taco snack. Line four is mini corn dogs and personal pan pizza. And surprise, surprise, line five is closed. Now over to sports with Edgar. Thanks, Ricky. Results from last night. The freshman team defeated Rossville 31-30 in its first game of the season. Deacon Spencer had 11 points while Connor Boone added 10. Frankfurt will return to action on Monday, November 26, when they host Southmont. The boys basketball will, will play their first game tomorrow at Clinton Prairie. JV starts at 6 and varsity starts at 7.30. Now back to Dallas. Thanks, Edgar. Today is Red Ribbon Day at Frankfurt High School. The annual campaign seeks to heighten awareness of the of the harm caused by the use of illegal drugs or the misuse of illegal drugs. There will be a table set up in the comments at lunch with more information. Need new reading material for SSR or just want to know more? Stop by to pick up the brochure. There will be a sweet surprise for all who do. Drug overdose deaths in Indiana in 2017 were not only the highest they have ever been, but the state also saw one of the biggest increases in the country from the previous year. Also. Roughly 1,840 people died of an overdose in the state last year, an 18% increase over 2016 and a 37% increase over 2014. In the United States, about 72,000 died over the, of overdose last year, a 10% increase from 2016. Be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Congratulations to Drew Grismer, who competed in an essay scholarship program and was chosen as Clinton County's DAR Good Citizen on Saturday at the Public Library. His application and essay will be sent to the state DAR competition to be decided and announced in May 2019. The Hooligans Improv Troupe will be having their first show of the season on Friday, November 30th at 7, at 7 o'clock. Tickets will be $5. That's that's all for hot dog news. Thank you for tune, thanks for joining us on this fine day. This has been the Aquaman, Dallas, and Ricky, and we'll see you guys in a week. Have a safe Thanksgiving.